This is the FFPO getting, close con contact. getting comfortable, <laughs> getting comfortable, close contact edition. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it like this <laughs> for the rest of the podcast. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the I need human contact <laughs> episode. <laughs> After watching this movie, we had red wine. I lit some candles. You know, <laughs> the wine was the first uh, culprit. <laughs> All right. Ah oh, shit. Bringing the close contact. Yeah, this time. guys. Yeah, yeah. Last this time is we had up a close and personal. Yeah. Last time we weren't close contact. This time we're close contact. Yeah, that's why I bought this couch, man, just so I can hang out with my. Next time it's like gonna this. be one seat, and he'll be on my lap. I'll be on his lap. <laughs> Did, you know, we're, we're we don't being, know. Yeah, we're both. You have to tune in to see. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very special. <laughs> it's a very special chair where you can sit on each other's laps at the, at same, the same time. time. Yeah. It's, it's like it's a it's a space it's a it's a chair that exists in time and space. Yeah, using outside. Quantum, yeah, qu using newest cutting edge quantum physics. We're yes. Gonna, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll merge the two parallel universes. One where he's sitting on my lap, the other where I'm sitting on his lap. We're gonna merge those two bad boys and we're gonna record it for you. Yeah. So that's, tune in next time. Uh huh. Good. <laughs> Great idea. Don't 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 bother with this one because. <laughs> Yeah. This one is not. We, uh, we're yeah, gonna see, but it, yeah, it was, because <laughs> we watched we watched unknown, uh, the 2011 unknown movie of Liam Neeson. Seriously, I like I had to do do a deep Google to find find this movie. Nobody remembers sometimes, this movie. Sometimes there's movies that from should years be ago forgotten, and and <laughs> and you're like, why is no one watched this movie? It's a jewel. It's hidden. You know, amongst all the other mm -hmm. releases, yeah. this is not one of those no, movies. No, no, this, this is, is not. You that's Mercedes, how they, that's how they afforded, Mercedes and that's VW. That's how they all the money that yeah. Liam Neeson kept on summoning. <laughs> <laughs> he kept on summoning the money. <laughs> what is he, a leech? He He's was, like, he kind of was, though. <laughs> Bring me the money. <laughs> yeah, no, he 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 doled out euros like, like he yeah. like he has an <laughs> infinity <laughs> pocket that's just filled with random exactly. banknotes, and like it was inconsistent too. Like sometimes he pulled out a fiver, <laughs> sometimes he pulled out a <laughs> stack oh of ten, uh, hundreds. You know, <laughs> he's uh, he's fucking rich in this yeah. movie. Good, good for, for the podcast, podcast but, but basically for, the, for the video, it's gonna I be mean, good. Yeah. Okay, so for the Wait, podcast, let's move the mics away. For, for the podcast listeners. Just go to Steven Seagal, uh, Breaking Necks, and you'll see exactly what we're about to do. So yeah. he, so he he just he takes her, turns her around, and he just goes, and the and the bitch is dead. She's dead. And he, he th this was literally the the level of force he put. He just like you know, some yeah. ancient <laughs> Chinese like. <laughs> Magic trick, yeah, basically. magic trick, basically. Because there yeah. was nearly no contact, and you, again, you can whip your head yeah. around like this naturally. And then, and they add the little like stock, you know, yeah, uh, that neck <laughs> break, yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> and so again, the nurse he is could dead. have he could have done that to Liam Neeson while he yeah, was exactly. knocked out. He just could've... killed him and wheeled him Walked out as out. a dead person. Yeah. Just that chase scene, though, ended in a double tram accident, fake out, and then real crash. Yeah, and like which both is the tram so drivers, hilarious. Both the tram drivers were like these out of shape idiots who like who <laughs> like when a, the, vision, when, a vision when, of like tw twenty centimeters. When the when the crash is about to happen, yeah. they show the frame where the the train driver is like, yeah, <laughs> and it's like, bro, you didn't realize like, like. 300 meters For away the listeners, the shoe, the it was a very was surprised dumb look yeah when when, when the crash is about to happen we yeah to and it was it. such it was like a comedy editing of all of all things because they <laughs> the tram crashes into the car that's been flipped over yeah. and they they're like oh no this is like the modern equivalent of being tied to the tracks you know yeah. and in this case it's a tram and also that tram went with the speed of light. <laughs> yeah. Like that was a fucking fast he was tram. Not giving a shit, man. He was, that uh, tram was fast <laughs> as fuck. I was I was fucking surprised how fast that that tram was. I legit. I was legit. I was legit uh, impressed by how. <laughs> like when I was there the last time, that was like twelve years ago. I think I was in Berlin, and 
Um, yeah, we need more wine for this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and mm. uh, today's, today's support drink is wine because at least we are classier, classier than this movie is. Indeed. Yeah, we're, sla and, and we're slamming, we're slamming a six-year-old movie. So. Sponsorship? Possible sponsorship? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Sponsors. Wait, actually, should wine. not do that? Wine. Sponsors. <laughs> Off-brand off popcorn <laughs> and off-brand wine. Just, you know, the two, the two snacks that keep you alive and healthy. All right. So then, Insane so while flipping, you're doing movies like this. Flipping. Uh, flipping. Again, those trams were like, they, they, they strapped rocket engine to those <laughs> trams. Like the last time I was there, it was, the, the trams were normal, like in Vienna, you know. And those trams in the... <laughs> In the in the in the movie, they were like again, they they were Mad Max style trams at this at this point, and they never come into play again. It's, <laughs> yeah. No, it's a one-off short thing with trams done. Yeah. So, but uh, then the so was there a product placement too? The trams. The, the trams, I guess. <laughs> uh, Siemens just gave them a bunch of money. To put a tram in this and see that it is, can destroy a German-made car. <laughs> well, I, I'm sure that the, that the German uh, government, who probably paid for half the movie, they were like, "But can you please put our trams inside as yeah. well? You know, this would be." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of our uh, yeah. trademark things. Yeah. You know, you know trams. The, 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 I'm sure the tourists will go right up if you show our trams. Just yes. show how fast and yeah. good, and also how yeah, how the public our, how, transit is and, really good, and also how our drivers have the best reaction times <laughs> <laughs> and i guess the, the 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 producers were like we can do two out of three <laughs> we can show the speed the trams themselves or or the reaction time two out of three and they're yeah. like yeah fuck the reaction time yeah. no one cares about that put anyways. two dum-dums in yeah, there yeah, exactly. <laughs> just put two, two we've got two guys yeah yeah i have a cousin <laughs> and another cousin they are who are actually yeah. also brothers yeah and also father and son <laughs> and they and it's they, a very traditional it's a very fam. traditional yeah <laughs> they would be great for these scenes yeah okay yeah. he gets his Re like his hidden special boy yeah, which yeah. is like the point the you know, tea bag yeah the tea bag and like it's like one tea bag so you know yeah. what it's for and uh and I he's from the stasi which you know they, yeah uh, they were famous for the cyanide for the cyanide yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Exactly. so so tasty way better than any cyanide they made the cyanide taste like coca-cola you know did they really <laughs> no i <Okay>. don't know <laughs> It's like a brause tablette, <laughs> like a hoi brause, you know, a yeah, hoi yeah, brause. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a, it's a pop rocks. <laughs> they made it taste like pop Coca Cola pop okay, rocks. Right. <laughs> mm, the fizzle. <laughs> <laughs> At least uh, you have a great taste when you're dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Taste, yeah. yeah, make it. You know, <laughs> we made death fifty percent more pleasurable. <laughs> you're still gonna suffocate on your own spit and vomit, but. <laughs> At least you'll have great. a great taste yeah. by the end of it. Yeah, yeah, so. You're like, oh, this is so... <laughs> He's like, I wanted Fanta. No. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Why is there no Sprite option? <laughs> <laughs> so then... Uh, <laughs> so they have this scene uh, where they... Um, uh -huh. Where they meet up and... Uh, Basically, the uh, the uh, Hitler or hi in the show is called in the movie is called Jürgen. Jürgen. <laughs> Jürgen. 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 With Jürgen. last name, they have a first name as a last name. Last name, exactly, exactly. Fucking a Jürgen. So he he um he's like, uh, and this was lame as hell. They should have done a better job about this. But he's like, yeah. When we were in the Stasi, we heard about a secret elite European unit called sector 13 yeah <laughs> no totally not but it's still they thought of they it they thought of it that's and true. then put it in they, the movie they, they thought of things and then they filmed it <laughs> and they were like let's hope it works yeah let's see if it's a movie let's yeah let's see, see if, if it's a movie and let's see what's up <laughs> <laughs> so, like frank frank what, what's up carl frank I, I i think i think i have i think i have a movie here really carl have you checked <laughs> i'm I'm not sure, but I I, wrote, I I took like four four quaaludes yesterday, <laughs> and I wrote like 160 pages, and I don't know, man. I think it's a movie. Can you take a look at it? Yeah, but 
should I do quaaludes as well? Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's do that at the same time and read it. Oh man, this is such a good movie. Let's produce the shit out of this one. It's like, it's like, uh, the, the I've got a movie here, uh, uh, Carl, and then he's like, well, reasons does of it, for the existence do, do, of this movie. He's like do, unknown. He's like, do do the things, do things happen? Yes. Do the things make sense? Do they work? No. <laughs> Well, one out of two isn't bad. So yeah. let's just <laughs> and we have some amazing actors who are trying to sell the shit out of some of the scenes. The one thing, though, is that... <laughs> and he took some experimental drugs to stay alive for another... Like, he must be 110 at this point. So... <laughs> <laughs> he just kept... On... I am the oldest Nazi alive, yeah. And wasn't it amazing how he kept on coughing to foreshadow his death? Yeah, the coughing not really came into play. Well, he it, just, it was it like, just oh, I'm really old and stuff, um, so yeah, don't be sad when I die. Again, he, <laughs> there's no man behind the old guy, the evil old guy. Why didn't he just take him out? He must have had a gun in there. Just try, at least. Not that's true. Bitch, bitch out and kill yourself from the get-go. And like the like thing as a, that's just a fuck you. You know, you're like, you want to extract some information? No, screw you. That's I'm killing true, you actually. myself. It's Instead the best, of trying to it's kill. It's the best scene in the movie. And there's just so many holes in it <laughs> that make it It's a, like a, a Swiss scene. cheese. I think that what was Bruno Ganz was aiming for as a Swiss actor, he was just aiming... I'm making this work, but it is like a Swiss cheese. There's a lot of emptiness that doesn't taste like nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Why is he French all of a sudden? I don't know, but it's Bruno Ganz. I'm yeah. Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so Hitler. I, anyway, so then... Exactly. There weren't like a shit ton of agents for the most part of the Cold War. They're trying to counter-infiltrate nothing, each other. Nah, nothing, nothing. They're like, oh, the... Walls down, I guess our job's over. We're yeah. just all gonna go into retirement now. Yeah. There are no, there are no gangs anymore. Yeah. yeah. Why is the, why is the Berlin police have any, such high pitched Oh, look voice. at that. He's, he's uh, <laughs> driving on the sidewalk. Well, that's, well, gee, look at that. That's, that's pretty cool. Well, are you trying to do Mickey Mouse at this point? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're all like, they act like fucking Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Oh, so why, why not on. give them the Mickey Mouse voice? I yeah, mean, that's like, true. That's true. Let's let's kill let's kill some let's kill some bad guys. Goofy. Ho oh, oh. ho. Yeah. And I mean, apparently the Berlin police doesn't understand German. They only speak English because <laughs> yeah. because at Mind least a hundred people oh, yeah. must have fucking called the German police and be like, "There's fucking people driving on the sidewalk Kill, on the causing, fucking causing on the Straßenbahn shit, yeah. Schiene, yeah. You know, almost causing shit, blowing shit up, and the police was like, "Whoa, whoa." I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time understanding your language because <laughs> we just haven't done shit in so long that we just decided to learn English and not our native language. So we're not understanding what you're doing. So we're not going to stop the cars. OK, we're just going to sit yeah. in our fucking police headquarters and do nothing about it. All right. Yeah. Oh, by the way, move a little bit closer for the video. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is My excitement. I'm just like. Yeah, yeah. Sl like, sliding more. more. <laughs> You're removing uh, yourself from, from the, this. From the whole experience of the movie. It's like. <laughs> yeah, make you withdraw. Yeah. yeah so, so yeah, fuck the plot. We're done with the plot. Yeah. This is this is. It's a hot pile of garbage. Oh yeah, it's, it, it, Gina well, it, kills, it, uh, kills the the bad guy. Yeah, and, and the okay, other bad so, guy. So when it becomes really shit is when. Yeah when uh like really really like diarrhea shit <laughs> yeah. is when is when uh exactly they, they, they make like you they do eating, a twist the, they the, do the, a the twist. beginning is like you're eating a delicious indian meal it's something you're not expecting <laughs> it's something mysterious there's some strange flavors in there that you're not expecting and you're like oh this is funny this is good and but what you don't know is that the chicken that's in that meal has been on the, uh, sitting in the sun for like two weeks and you're getting food poisoning and slow as the movie progresses you're like oh oh shit oh literally i gotta shoot Dude, now i gotta take a dump it's like it's like you're you've been served mutton tikka yeah so lots of sauce yeah little pieces of mutton yeah. in there and you're eating and it's amazing and you're about to have the last piece of mutton and you put it in your mouth and instead of a piece of mutton it's a piece of shit <laughs> And that's how they wanted to sign <laughs> you how, off that meal. Yeah, that's how you By you eating a little thing. nugget of shit, yeah? And that's what they did in this movie. It was it was good. 
It was curry, you know, it was like, it was tasting good, it was juicy, yeah. it was nutritious, you know. And then the li- the last piece was a piece of shit that they tried to pass off as a piece of meat and you could taste yeah. it, okay? Yeah, if you, if you have a really nice chocolate cake and somewhere in this chocolate cake is a piece of shit, yeah. you're not going to eat the exactly. chocolate cake. Yeah. Don't eat but, the chocolate but cake, But it guys. looks... But it looks like chocolate cake. Oh, it looks so like you such do a eat it. Yeah, <laughs> which is what we did because we watched the movie. You do eat it, and then you're like, well, "Yo, why'd you put a piece of shit in my chocolate cake?" And they were like, "Whoa, <laughs> you paid for it. Fuck you." <laughs> <laughs> this is, the producers are awesome, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yeah, they're also everyone involved in this fucking movie is, is Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mouse. Every yeah, single person. Let's do it, guys. Yeah, fellas. Oh. <laughs> So, so anyway, so what fucked this movie let's up? Let's try to destroy Liam Neeson's the, career again. There oh. was, and then his in- entrance is in like a Lamborghini with like ten hot ladies. How do they fit in that Lamborghini? By and the way, and he's got this fucking cunt face, fucking smile. Oh, he looks like a uh, shit eating grin. He is the epitome of a shit eating grin. Like this is. I'm I'm the best human being that has ever been created. Why am I, I mean, Texan all I, of a I, sudden? I don't doubt that Prince Shada of Saudi Arabia is is a bad. Shut up by your face! Person. You know, is shut it, up by your exactly, face. That but, should have been his. But I mean, name. if a fucking guy like is showing up to a co- uh, an environmental conference in a fucking Lamborghini with like teleporting doors and ten <laughs> fucking. Yeah. Ten, like you saw those doors, yeah. it was nuts, and then the fucking ten uh, ladies, ladies following him around. I mean, like, bro, g- good on you, you know, showing yeah. up in style. But like, you do that when you're going into, you know, a, a fucking casino. nightclub or a casino, not when you're showing up for a, an conference. environmental conference, and <laughs> you're supposed to feel bad about this yeah, guy. He's, he's throwing out like he's like. Room, room, bitches! Like fuck the planet, yeah. but at the same time, I'm trying to save the yeah, planet. Yeah, exactly. And he's got this like fucking smile, like oh, what the fuck. <laughs> he's 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 like the Saudi version of Martin Shkreli. <laughs> exactly. If Martin Shkreli was actually a good guy, but still had the same face, yeah. this is what came out. Exactly like, the face. Go, guys, if you don't know who Martin Shkreli oh. is. Uh, Google him Martin like Martin and then Shkreli like the sound when you step on somebody's nuts Shkreli <laughs> Shkreli we are already talking back about a different day. movie back in we're the talking day. about an, a different movie yeah. let's go back to this one that's true we, because I, I know how enticing it is to look at something that's better but we have to look at what's in front of yeah, us we have even to, though what's in front of us is a chocolate we cake we ordered the chocolate cake we ordered the co- chocolate cake with a we piece of shit we paid for it <laughs> yeah we, we saw the signs so by, de- and by god them. by god we will eat it yes we pay for it and by god, we are red blooded Yes. Europeans, <laughs> Canadians, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna eat what we paid for. Exactly. <laughs> they sh- looked at the security footage of the hotel from several angles, and in in, in one in one frame they fucked up, and <laughs> it said, ref- <laughs> "You don't have the newest version of your antivirus. Please update." And did we're it like, say "McAfee or did it say?" It antivirus? said McAfee. It said McAfee. 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 <laughs> And like McAfee would have never paid for that. Yeah. Like they're like, no, we we have an automatic update feature. Please don't sh- shut up, shut up. You know, <laughs> and it, it is just clearly like, oh, we didn't have any. We just are in an actual hotel and we're just filming the real thing. So that wherever they filmed that, we have to hack into a, the, their security system because they apparently don't even fucking update the McAfee <laughs> and the virus software. <laughs> Oh, oh, that was so brilliant! That but was it's brilliant. amazing. I mean, that hotel had they had camera. Uh, oh, they and had the fuck you passwords. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> fuck those passwords. Yeah. Okay, but we're in cinematography. Yeah, and they're like, visual. Okay. Yeah. That oh that OS that she was using, like they're like uh, we Windows three point X. Yeah. <laughs> But with like some really sick filled, uh, really <laughs> sick skins yeah. from like the the late nineties, uh, and then her copying. Uh, three minutes left, two minutes left. Oh yeah, they complete. Had... It was oh, so yeah. fucking stupid. Man. Onto a four gigabyte hard drive. Yeah, it was so silly. And then, <laughs> and then they they. Yeah, because again, how do you copy? 
biogenetic research off of a phone that he doesn't already have publicly released because to have the raw data you you have to have the raw data to verify all the work that has been done i mean not only and that i mean this is so stupid like the like the secrets to a genetic thing every and it's every only con yeah but like every scientist it, th no scientist is like doing secret work every scientist has to publish their shit yeah because that's the only way you get funding yeah or if he also had found, he's gonna have a backup of that somewhere exactly and well that's why they wanted to and co-researchers co-researchers co nobody's working exactly, at that exactly. scale uh, working alone there's, there's 20 reasons why this that, doesn't uh, work why it's so stupid to copy so a scientist crop genetic id and then kill him and be like, well, no, we can sell it. Because <laughs> that's fucking horseshit. That just, yeah, you know, that's so stupid. The difference between someone who makes money off something and someone who doesn't make money off something is marketing. So all this <laughs> secret agent bullshit is a waste of time and money. You, they would have been better They're served wasting to spend so much to, money yeah. to, to spend all their that's that like top Asian old man who died. Yeah. Who was like, I got to spend time with my family. Apparently, he's like the guy who makes the most money and whatever yeah. gets their contract. He should have taken all his money 10 years, 15 years ago and spent it into mar and invested it into marketing because then he would have been a cajillionaire yeah. compared to the whatever amount he's making as this, <laughs> this fucking like shitty spy business where he's got the most useless spies working for him, except for Liam Neeson, who yes. happens to be the yes. one who fucks the whole thing up. Yeah, you know? by being bumped on the head. Exactly. Why, why is the... <laughs> Why is this and uh, why is this agency still existing? They seem like the most inept fools. They're ever. idiots. They should have fucking taken all the money they made. Yeah. When when the Cold War was on and been like, which is probably what all spy agencies did. They were yeah. like, oh wait, spying is fucking useless. No. Let's yeah. let's just fucking Cash invest in. their money into fucking internet mar or like just marketing. Yeah. Or or, or, or like uh, oh I have I've. I know a stash where the Russian government kept like uh, a yeah. million guns. Exactly. I'm going to sell those on the black market. Exactly. Bing, bang, Gun. boom. I'm and done. that's my retirement. Yeah. Finished. Yeah. You don't need like it's there's no actual fucking reason to be a spy agency in the 20, 20 fucking first century. Except you know? if you're employed by the state and you're patriotic, but not like yeah. rogue. Yeah. Not but this even kind then, of rogue Even agency. then all you're doing is With like, that shitty of a plan. All you're doing as a spy these days is being like, Oh, I'm hey, googling this, something. This guy, sorry, yeah. this guy is uh, really important. Uh, and then you call your tech guys, and you're like, "Can you like hack his Facebook so that we have some dirt on him?" Yeah, that's basically all spies are doing these days. Yeah, spies, and then, like back in the day, and spy maybe shit sometimes was, like, oh, let's 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 just send an extraction team, kill him off very efficiently, clean everything, yeah. and he's just gone. Yeah, F just gone from the face of the earth. N now these days, yeah, okay, but like, do you even need to do that now? Now you all, all you need to do is get a video of this guy like having sex with, you um, know, uh, uh, having a sex with no, 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 and you fucking ruin the guy's career. That's it. And that shemel turns out to be just be made out of cocaine. Exactly. Just, exactly. <laughs> like, you and know, he's got, just having then, sex with a pile of cocaine. He's yeah. like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm rocking, I'm rocking this. Yeah. A pile of cocaine with a dick. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then you've got the guy. Like the guy's <laughs> career is ruined. You don't need to do like back in the day. This shit was important. You need yeah. to spy. You need to find out what the guy was doing, what information he yeah, had. All his info was in his head. Yeah. And you had to fucking torture him, maybe. Yeah, it or was maybe so, just so much, him. so much work. Yeah, it was so much work. work. And now you don't need to do shit. You, all you need to do is call your fucking tech geek guys. Yeah. All these guys with zits and their, you know, yeah, fucking, hack the phone. Hack the fucking phone and, and you've got it. You know, yeah. you've got the little video of him like putting a toothbrush up his butt or something and. <laughs> You know you've got the guy. He's gonna have to have a clean, pu clean butthole. You know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And, and I'm everything, everything. Up the, I'm only using butter dent. Butter dent. <laughs> That's a sketch I wanna see. I wanna see <laughs> just people yelling out Alu Akbar and then just doing nice things. You know, <laughs> <laughs> just yelling Alu Akbar then mowing the lawn or yelling Alu Akbar and helping yeah, an old neighbor true. over the street. That w the <laughs> Ahmed the friendly terrorist. You know. I'm just trying to think if my parents have ever said it, but <laughs> before they did something nice or before they blew something well, up. Well, they I mean they clear, <laughs> they're both alive, so they clearly there was no blowing up involved. Yeah, the, yet. <laughs> the fuses <laughs> the fuses didn't work. 
No, no. We bought some shitty fuses <laughs> off of eBay. No, but we got uh, scammed, man. That wasn't dynamite. Those were just hot dogs glued together. Hot dogs. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, but, um, no, because I guess generally my parents, they don't even man, speak that Arabic, West, so. lo- Man, that West looks bomb. West because looks of the bombing West that they're carrying, that West looks bomb. Like, that yeah, West you, looks bomb. You're oh, getting compliments. Yeah. Two terrorists give, give each other mm. prom- compliments on their suicide Wests. Yeah. <laughs> and we In never Berlin, get explained like who who, who doesn't want to like get caught by the police she's from she's wherever pulling, stan she's fucking at the airport yeah not in Dri- the middle of fucking nowhere at the airport she's, she's driving like driving. a maniac and, yeah. and then and then she has eagle eye eagle eye vision when they take away uh liam neeson's character and she's like spotting them from like a kilometer away up a building while she's driving like a maniac and then she no 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 and then she drives up that building because apparently that has to be him and not some random construction workers you know because at that uh, you need goggles or something to see see those people and then they, she drives up and she's just like slamming into the other car killing the one guy like smooshing him against him the, and then pushing the other guy with the car down like she casually just murders two people you, yeah she's like the stone cold again my theory is she's a double agent for the for the, the Russians. Double, double agent yeah she's like a double agent and she actually works for a counter agency that's about to she, she, she was actually assigned to just kill them but in this case she was like oh this this worked out fine because we had that accident and now i can actually murder all of them yeah. and live with that is, um, yeah and live with familiar. that fool like <laughs> yeah i mean it was just it was ridiculous and then the one thing was also his infinite source of cash yeah how he was just uh he would just have money fucking lying everywhere yeah yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. and then like uh he finds his his uh thing and then Paul is like, I've, yeah, he's he's gonna pay her with his ten thousand euros in the briefcase, and then lo and behold, two, two seconds, seconds later, later, he pulls out a fucking wad, like as if he just had gone to the cash. bank, yeah, and they you know nicely like taped it up and shit, yeah, and like he pulls out this wad of cash of <laughs> totally wallets. not shady, yeah. totally not shady, and cash. he's just like, take this money, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Not like this movie. <laughs> Not like this movie. We could have been better. Well, it agents. was professional shit. I mean, let's give it that. Yeah, high production value. Yeah, yeah they, had, they had too much money. Yeah. They made too much money. I'm sure, dude, I know that the German government paid for half of that <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, VW and, and, and they were like, Volkswagen and, and Mercedes. They were like, put our Deutsche Bahn, which yeah. they did. Yeah. And they made, it the seem, they made it seem okay. And yeah. then they were like... And also put our trams, please. <laughs> and, then they, and then they put the trams that they made the trams look like shit. We have, we have like a contract with the German government. We have to make a movie or let's just set it in Berlin. And who do we have right now? Oh, Liam Neeson has Liam Neeson. nothing to do for two weeks. <laughs> All right, let's shoot this piece of garbage. Done. All right. Ali, thank you for being here. You're Any welcome. plugs? Uh, Where can people find you? No, nothing Nowhere. yet. Nothing yet. Again, again. You're disappointing me, man. 